Hello everyone and welcome to my Royal Family Fans channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Princess of Wales proudly supported her husband, Prince William, as he participated in various charitable events, notably the Royal Charity Polo Cup 2023. These events, including the recent match held on Wednesday afternoon at the Guards Polo Club near their Windsor home, aim to raise funds for nearly a dozen causes that hold great significance for the royal couple. Among the causes supported were Prince William's charities addressing homelessness, as well as Princess Kate's long-standing commitment to hospice support, particularly for East Anglia Children's Hospices. Additionally, a baby bank charity was included in the causes benefiting from the fundraising efforts. The Royal Charity Polo Day managed to raise an impressive sum of over $1.2 million, contributing to a cumulative total of more than $15 million raised over a span of 12 years. The statement from their office expressed the prince and princess's deep passion for the causes that these funds support. The specific organizations benefiting from the Royal Charity Polo Cup 2023 and related initiatives encompassed a range of important endeavors. These included Mental Health Innovations, Wales Air Ambulance, Centre Point, The Passage, Mountain Rescue in Glyndon, Wales, Foundling Museum, Forward Trust, East Anglia Children's Hospices, Baby Basics Little Village, and ABBA Necessities. During the event, Prince William played for the U.S. Polo Association, while Prince Harry did not receive an invitation. At the conclusion of the match, Princess Kate joined him on the field to present him with the trophy, acknowledging his skill and participation. It is worth noting that the U.S. Polo Association, in collaboration with its licensing partner in the United Kingdom, Brand Mashin Group, served as the official apparel and team sponsor for the 2022 edition of the event, which included the Royal Charity Polo Cup. In the past year, Prince Harry was involved in polo, playing with Nacho's team in a league. However, recent developments have seen him removed from the team, with rumors circulating about his behavior. Notably, unlike Harry, Prince William does not utilize spurs while playing polo. A recent article featuring Argentine polo player Nacho Figueroa shed light on a situation where two polo ponies were lent to Prince Harry. Upon their return, the ponies were reportedly sick and in poor condition. This unfortunate incident resulted in Nacho and Delfina severing their association with the Harkles and getting them expelled from the Santa Barbara Polo Club, of which the Figueroa are members. There were concerns about Harry's treatment of the ponies, especially a pregnant mare that he allegedly pushed beyond its limits despite warnings of exhaustion. Tragically, the horse experienced a cardiac arrest, which may have been a consequence of its mistreatment. Furthermore, polo is known to be an exceptionally expensive sport, with costs totaling around $100,000 annually, including expenses related to the polo club, pony upkeep, and tournament participation. Given Harry's financial situation and his comparatively inferior polo skills compared to William, he relied on Nacho's support throughout the season, possibly as a means to generate positive public relations. Observations of Harry's physical condition reveal a noticeable decline, with weight gain and a perpetual appearance of fatigue evident in photographs where he is not wearing sunglasses. While not an expert, it seems logical to question the safety of participating in polo when one is clearly not in optimal physical condition and more prone to injuries. Please consider subscribing to our Royal Family Fans channel for future updates. Thank you for joining us today. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in our upcoming videos.